Hey, hey, welcome Unreal Engine creators. Today we are excited to announce the new AI plugin. It's a new weapon for rapid blueprint code generation and automated debugging in Unreal Engine. Imagine creating fully functional AI bots in moments and automatically troubleshooting any issues that come with it. Let's dive in. Let's assume we want to make an AI bot. With Neo, all you need to do is enter your required functionality and it will handle the rest. In seconds, watch the complete generation process finish. It takes something between 15 to 20, 35 seconds for the complete blueprint generation, although it's less than 3 seconds for the debugger and auto suggest features. Okay, so now the blueprint is created but we can't use it directly. We need to set a mesh as no context was passed for it. Before the public release, this will be fixed so the AI can set meshes by itself. Let's drop the AI in the map and see if we got our required functionality. And as you see, we did. The code is pretty simple, but it handled the complete process on its own without a single change. The only thing is that the blueprint is not aligned very beautifully, which we will assure um, that it won't be an issue on launch. Now let's address a common challenge for all UE devs that is debugging. Debugging is something that takes the most amount of time of any UE dev. Neo can help make that process faster and in most cases automated. Although everything worked great here, let's fabricate an error in the pawn sensing component. If we reduce the side radius to something below 100, our AI won't be able to see the player's pawn, hence won't be following him. Let's give it a try. Now, though the fabricated, let's try to fix it through Neo's auto debugger. If we keep the component selected and open up the window, the context is passed for this, which is not shown yet, but will be shown on the UI pretty soon. You can type in the issue and the AI can look into what's wrong. Soon you will also be able to sync the complete project files with Neo, but for this demo, it's node or context sensitive. It found the issue and it was the site radius which we decreased. But if we give it a try now, it should work great. So you, you can see it automatically increased it right. So it's pretty efficient in the current stage itself, but it can do much more than this. Like in the current stage, it can handle replication, enum, struct, variable creation, arrays, and most other important tasks. Since our AI is trained on a manually curated database, which we are thinking of open sourcing, we are initially supporting actors, characters, enums, structs, and player controllers. Every Sunday, we will roll out a scheduled update to add a support for a new file type, like animation blueprints, macros, interfaces, data assets, widgets, and more. It already works great on animation blueprints, um, but a lot of manual training is still required to make it at a launchable state. So it will come in the fourth or fifth week's update. Plus you can also vote for features or uh, prioritize any of the feature releases through the roadmap. The link is in the description. Please make sure you log in and um, vote on whatever you want to see first because for the first two weeks release, it's an important thing. Whatever has the most number of votes would come first. And join us for a live demo on March 7th with our team and Gorka Games. During the live demo, we will be showcasing even more features, including our powerful auto suggestions, which we haven't shown here due to some technical issues, which we will discuss in the live demo. That said, thanks a lot for watching. The plugin finally releases on March 27th with a huge wide range of features at a whopping price of $12 for a month, uh, which includes auto, um, unlimited auto suggestions, unlimited debugging, and around 20 or 10 complete blueprint generations. That depends upon how much we are able to optimize till then, but that's the tentative plan. Meet you on 7th March on the channel. Make sure you check out the website because much more things are covered in great detail there. That's it, meet you in the next one.